Welcome to this Cadian Shock Trooper painting tutorial. So, we've got our pre primed model, Stim Vallejo Black, and Zandri Dust is the colour we are covering the entire model with. And you don't have to be too careful with this, just make sure you get it all over his jacket and fatigues. Once that's done, Castellan Green is the colour you want to aim to coat the helmet and shoulder pads with. Again this is a fairly easy procedure. And you get the shoulder pads, the helmet, um, the back of his backpack. And if, if your particular model has any sort of front armour plating showing then you need to do that as well. But even with just the the Zandri dust and the green on, you're already well on your way to getting your own uh, Imperial Guard model up and running. Okay, Abaddon Black. Now, going to be doing his belt and his boots. Sometimes I like to do the stock of the handle of the, you know, the, the bit at the end of the guns. On these, uh, it's entirely up to you. Um, it's a bit off screen there, but just doing his belt for that on there. And boots. Belt and boots. Ah, yes, there we go, in the back of the gun. I'll just keep it uniform for. Oh, and the, uh, obviously, I, I meant to say the Castellan green is also on the main part of the gun itself. Right, Bugman's glow. So we're doing, we're cracking on with the skin. So we're getting that in there. These are all the base colours you need before your first wash. And then um, it's just a quicker way of doing it, you know. So to get your skin. Base colour on, your fatigues, your your armour plating, and then you're well on your way to getting your first wash down and then he already starts to look good. And here we go with Agrax Earth Shade. So we literally just plaster it all over the model. We don't dilute it at all, we just slap it on there. Then at this point, he already starts to look quite good. Obviously, you know, wait for it to thoroughly dry before you move on to the next step. And Celestra Grey is the colour we're going to be using, and we're going to do all the little, uh, the little like eagle, not eagle the um, the Aquila motifs, top of his helmet. Uh, some have got them on the gun, and the, uh, the ones you can see have a little badge on their breastplate, armour breastplate as well. So we're just covering that. So now we're doing all the rest of the colours that we're going to put the the next wash over on just those parts. So we're getting this out of the way first. Gun metal uh, by Army Painters um, is what I'm using for the uh, the bayonet at the end of the, the rifle and the at the end of the rifle itself uh, anything else you want to be metal water canisters grenades anything like that your model may have on his person uh, magazine clips things like that so as you can see I'm just painting the water canister there's a couple of straps over the water canister which I'm leaving because I want to paint those uh, uh, leather later on so for now, that's uh, that's all I'm concentrating on. Just those few metal parts. Uh, 
like so. And the oil, as I, as I was saying, is the second wash. We're just putting it over the metal and the celestial grey. So further on into the model you get, the, the more careful you have to be. Right, now we've done all the washes there. Right, we're going to lighten them back up again with Zandri dust. And we're just going in around the lines and the creases on his fatigues and uh, his jacket as well and his sleeves as well. So just going around there, especially on the knees and the front there, just to make it pop a little bit more. Okay, now we're going back to Castellan Green. Oh, I meant to mention earlier, we also do the the, uh, the gaiters at the bottom of his uh, fatigues as well, just above the boots. So I thought I'd mention that. But here we're just um, filling in all the main areas, but we're keeping away from the, the edges on the Castellan Green. So it leaves, nice, it leaves it nice and dark in all those recesses and uh, brings out the detail that much more even on the gun. Your shabty bone is next. And uh, back on the fatigue, so we're doing like we did with the uh, the Zandri dust, but we, we're not going along as far. We're doing just to the very edge with the shabty bone to make it pop out even more than it is already. And pick out places where the light may just catch the uh, the edges or make it seem lighter. Okay, next green is Lauren Forest. Now, with this, we're just going around edges uh, on the side of his helmet. He's got like a couple of. Uh, straight line edges going around there, whatever they may be. Like the shape of the helmet itself. And all like sharp edges you see or you want to have a highlight of this green on. It just brings it out a little bit more. Brings it forth, gives it a bit more depth. And already at this stage, like I said earlier, I mean, he's looking quite good. I mean, he's, you know, you could, well, you could put him on the tabletop at this stage. I mean, I've seen a lot worse go on a on a, a battlefield. But every little detail you add just makes it that much better. So there we go. Rune Fang Steel is what we're going to use to highlight our metals. So along the edges. And that brings the metals out then. And makes them pop too. And all these little bits just add that, that little bit more. And make it a little bit better. And it turns into a bit more of, a, of an eye candy. Right. Ulfran Grey. Now I'm using this air Ulfran Grey, so I'm, I'm not using an airbrush, but the consistency in the air paints is much thinner, uh, allowing for a much greater, well for me anyway, much greater control. So I'm just going along the uh, the Aquilas and the Eagles and all that, and just putting a very small highlight on. Okay, and next we're going to Acadian the Flesh Tone. To highlight the skin, I'm just highlighting like the hands and the fingers, the knuckles and the nose and lips and cheekbones and chin on some models. But these details are very small now and they don't take long to do at all. There he 
is on that one. Right, now we're coming on to do the, the leather effects, Mornfang Brown. So anything you want uh, as leather, uh, like the, the knife holster that he's obviously taking out the clip on as a bayonet attachment, and just like a leather pouch he's got on his side. So anything like that. Any straps, anything that you want to be leather. Doom Bull Brown is next. Now we're just going to fill in all the main areas, keeping the lighter edges free of the paint. Once that's dry, um, ag back to Agrax Earth Shade and just soak them all in that. Right, now we're on to the basing, the, the great fun part. Astro Granite, as I do in a lot of my, my models, and I, I base all my Imperial Guard the same way. So I've got the uh, texture basing tool from Citadel there that I'm using. I used to use brushes, but I find that tool so much easier. You've got a, a large end and a small end. It's just easier for me. So once that's done, go back to Agrax Earthshade, once it's dry of course, and apply that over the Astro Granite. Then when that's dry, it's a case of Longbeard Grey, and a quick dry brush over the top of that. And we're nearly done guys. Then however you base uh, the edge, the rim, I use Steel Legion Drab. So you know you can either keep if you keep yours black, then I suggest Abaddon black, but whatever colour you use to to base yours. For me, it happens to be Steel Legion drab. And then he's done, guys. That's that is really it. One Cadian shock troop ready for varnishing, and then battle.